So we're going to continue on from prime factorization to do least common multiple greatest common factor. So we're going to start out, we have, so if we're looking for the least common multiple and greatest common factor, the two things, I think you've been doing it since about grade five or six. <clears throat> uh, multiples are like two, four, six, eight, ten. They're the multiples of two. Factors of ten would, uh, sorry, factors of a number like six would be two and three because two times three makes six. One and six also um, would be factors. But if we remember from yesterday, when we do prime factorization, uh, dividing by uh, by one doesn't doesn't get you closer to the to the root mathematics. Okay, so if we're looking for the least common multiple greatest common factor of eight and ten, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do my prime factorization of the number eight. So it's follow my rules. It's even. I divide by two. I'd have four left over. That's also even, so I divide it by 2 again, and I get 2. So my prime factorization for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Uh, to prime factorize 10, uh, if we follow the rules, uh, it ends in a 0 or a 5, so I'm going to divide by 5. So I divide by 5, and I've got 2 left over. Uh, sorry, 2 times 5. Uh, that's also prime. I circle it. Uh, it's a very easy one, so 5 times 2 is the prime factorization of 10. So how this now works, so watch carefully. I've got a Venn diagram. On one side I have my factors of 8, my prime factors of 8. On the right I have my prime factors of 10. So what I can do, um, I put... If I have the same factors on one side as the other with the different numbers, um, I put them in the middle. If they're by themselves, I just go by A. So it's easier if I show you. Uh, so both prime factor lists have the number 2. So if I cross off a 2 from each, I put 2 in the middle because they share that one. Now I have 5 left on this side, I have 2 more left on that side. Okay, none of these match each other, so my, my two twos come over to here, because in order for them to come into the middle, that there has to be one on this side that cancels it out. Uh, so I'd be left with a five over here. So when I do my greatest common factor, lowest, least common multiple, uh, the easiest way to do it it's easy to mix them up, but if you realize that factors are smaller than the numbers, so my greatest common factor can't be bigger than 8. Uh, my least common multiple, because multiples get bigger, my least common multiple can't be smaller than, than these numbers. So, uh, for my greatest common factor, <clears throat> whatever number is in the middle, is my greatest common factor. So my greatest common factor is 2. If there had have been two twos in there, I'd multiply them together. So whatever is in the middle of the Venn diagram, I multiply. To get my least common multiple, I multiply all of my individual um, digits within my Venn diagram. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, so my greatest common factor is 2. My least common multiple is 40. It's way easier than doing it the old-fashioned way with factor rainbows and lists. See if you can do this one by yourself. So the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of 24 and 40. So pause your video and try it, please. Let's take this up. So if I factor 24, it's even, I divide by 2, I've got 12. It's even again, I divide by 2, I've got 6. It's even again, I divide by 2, and I've got 3. So my prime factorization for 24 is 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. 
when I do 40, it ends in a zero or a five, so I'm actually gonna divide by five first. I divide by five and I get eight. I divide my eight by two and I get four. I divide by four by two and I get two groups of two. So my prime factorization for the number 40 is five times two times two times two. So the next stage, we pop this into our Venn diagram. Okay, so you should have realized I have three twos in both lists. So in the middle would be my three twos. Uh, what's left over, I've got a three on this side and a five on that side, okay? So on the 24 side, this is 24, this is 40, and the thing in the middle is what they share. They share the three twos. So if I was doing it, I'd make sure I check it off one on this side, and that would be that one. Then another one on each side, then I'd write this two down. Uh, another one, I'd write this, I'm left with a five. On, on the 40 side, I'm left with a three on that side. So my greatest, I like to always start with my greatest common factor because it's the math in the middle. Okay, two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight. My greatest common factor is going to be eight. My least common multiple, I multiply them all together. Okay, you're going to need a calculator probably. Um, if you can do mental math, it's always easier to take care of your bigger numbers first before you do your, your doubles. So uh, three times five is 15 times two is 30 times two is 60 times two is 120. That's how you'd mental math it. Uh, the other way to mental math it would be uh, two times two times two is four times two is eight uh, times three is twenty four. Uh, twenty four times five is kind of tricky, but twenty four times ten is two hundred and forty. Five is half of ten, so half of two forty is one twenty. Just a different way of approaching it. Okay, so uh, I will provide you a couple of least common multiple greatest common factors to do today.